live time. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. How is everybody? If you're catching the replay on this, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> thank you so much for coming back in. Uh, once again, thank you to the G Tribe supporters. Thank you to all of you who support the channel, who come from different platforms, even to support the channel. Y'all, we in these we in these streets, and I'm sorry about all the shaking. It's gonna have to shake and jake for a little bit until we get through this area where all the potholes. I know y'all city probably don't have no potholes, but we got potholes around here. So <laughs> anyway, how you doing? Good to see you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, for coming in to the chat. If you are also one of the background watchers, thank you so much. I appreciate you as well. So thank you. Hi, Miss Shirley. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Urban Gardening Chronicles. Hello, hello. How are you? Good to see you in the chat today. Um, we in five o'clock traffic. So uh, just kind of bear with us. Y'all know how it goes. Um, Eco neighbor Miss Shirley said hello. What up? <laughs> Samuel, hello. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, I hope you got all your links and everything, and you know, for the class and all of that stuff. I hope you got it and that you enjoyed what you've seen. Kathy B, hello. How are you doing? Boss Hog 10, how are you doing? Good to see you. Boss Hog said, What's happening, y'all? <laughs> Uh, so good to see you all in the chat today. Um, I wanted to, I, I wanted to go back. Let's take it back, take it way back, back in the time, a little bit today. Great, Samuel. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you are quite welcome. Thank you. Um, so wanted to go back a little bit with y'all today because um i think a lot of us have really lost touch with our roots midnight green how you doing good to see you thank you for being here i think a lot of us have really truly lost touch you know with our roots and you know the more the more we grow the more we mature the more we educate ourselves um the more money we make like it's easy to do it's an easy thing to do However, we are currently in a situation where all of us, no matter where you are, all of us are feeling the crunch of inflation right now. And so I wanted to come in and talk to you guys about that and about how is it that we're going to continue to feed our family? How are we going to continue to feed our family? And the first thing that always comes to my mind in this subject, hey, G mama, how you doing, G mama? First thing that always comes to my mind when I'm thinking about, you know, the way that we've overcome in so many ways. And now it's like, Every time we get a, a little leg up, we got big brother who is knocking us right back, <laughs> knocking us right back down. Hey, Shakira, how are you doing? Thank you for my package, Shakira. Um, I don't know if the other one has come yet, but thank you for the one uh, with the mimosa seeds and the jade and that other stuff. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, so... I just have to go back, like seriously, I have to go back and, and I'm like, okay, so what did we do back then to survive? Because guess what? Times, even though a lot of us didn't realize because, you know, we were sheltered from a lot of things. A lot of us didn't realize that, hey, we were poor. And honestly, we didn't even know it in a lot of cases because survival just was the name of the game back then surviving is just what we've always done and that's why i said the other day you know um that the poor people we're gonna be fine we're gonna be just fine we're gonna be the ones that get 
creative. We're going to be the ones that get innovative as all of the stuff shoots through the roof. So when the bread is too high for, you know, putting your money into it, it's, it was already at $3 per loaf. So just imagine now, I don't even buy bread anymore. I stopped buying bread about a year ago uh, for, especially for our home, just because, just because of, of health issues, hormones and all this type of stuff. I stopped buying it anyway for my family. But the second reason was I just was not down with paying $3 for a loaf of bread. When I'm sitting here and I'm watching y'all um, make bread and do all of this stuff. Hey, on the point at home said, how are you doing? I'm watching you all make bread and freeze it and do all types of stuff in order to stretch the budget and just get down with, with all of the canning and food preservation and all of that stuff anyway. Hey, Janet, how you doing? Black coffee. How you doing, sis? And so um, I, I just I got to take it back. I got to go back like and I want y'all to tell me what did y'all do? I can give you some of what we did, but I want y'all to tell me what did you all do? Like what were your meals like if you were poor? Now, if you were if you were rich and you were able to, to have a chef and all of that type of stuff, then, you know, you may not be able to uh, really participate in this one. But um. You can learn something that's going to help you in the future at the same time. So uh, what did you all do? I, I know some of the things that we did was we had beanie weenies. <laughs> we definitely had the beanie weenies. And that's when we would take, for those who don't know, that's when we would take the hot dogs. And we would chop the hot dogs up in a can of the pork and beans. They were, I don't know, maybe 30 cent at the time. <laughs> I don't even remember. I don't know. Um, hey, TLC in the garden. How you doing, sis? Bully beef and rice. Corned beef and rice. I have never had corned beef in my entire life. And I feel so weird about that because I used to see it all the time um, at the deli, at the hot food deli when I would go by there. So I would see it all the time and I would just be like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. And so I never really tried it. But that's something that next time I go to the hot food deli, I am going to try the corned beef. <laughs> so thank you for that, Urban Gardening Chronicles. Um, <laughs> uh, we were we was po yeah, we girl, we was po too, but we didn't know it because my mama knew how to cook. <laughs> So we didn't know we were po. <laughs> we just we we did no meat most days. Uh, but when we did, it was it was popping. I know it was popping. <laughs> the Beanie Weenies were the best after school meal. Yes, yes. Shakira is one of the latchkey kids too. I think. <laughs> so so yeah, we had to do a lot of stuff. Kathy B said red beans and rice. Yes. Yes, the red beans and rice, uh, the dirty rice, you know, throw your little little onion off in there, a little little ground beef. But now if you look at the prices and I was going through this person's uh, website today and I, I should have wrote it down on some of the stuff that they were recommending in order to be able to save some money today. And they their prices were like way outdated compared to they, they're not keeping up with inflation. So I'm going I'm to reach out to that website and be like, baby, y'all need to do some new prices because these are not the same prices that was hitting even three years ago. These are not the same prices. And now you can't. I, I was looking at the chickens the other day and I haven't been eating it. I've been eating like bird because I'm just trying to, to reset my hormones. So. I was looking at the chicken, though, because I still got a family. <laughs> and I was like, dang, $9 for one chicken? For one of them. Just one. Hey, growing with Hudson. Good Eats Homestead. How are you doing? 
And so one chicken, I'm not talking about a big chicken. I'm just talking about a regular whole fryer that we used to pay $3 for. Now those bad boys are $9. So now we have to be looking at how do we take the things that we like, the things that we enjoy, and even some of the things that are just okay to us and then make that budget stretch. How do we do that? Grand Acres. Grand Acres, you made it today, baby. How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, Essential Gardener, hello. How are you doing today? Good to see you as well. So we used to make grilled cheese sandwiches. That was one of the really inexpensive things that I know for myself before I really learned how to cook. Oh, I used to I used to kill some grilled cheese growing up. Um, Black Coffee said chicken backs, livers, onions and rice and cornbread, any beans and rice, greens with hot water bread. And listen, have a fantastic meal. <laughs> A fantastic meal. We ate a lot of goulash sometimes without meat. I don't know what that is either. I don't know what that is either. Now, we used to do, we used to make chicken pot pies. Um, what was it? What what do some people call it? The the uh peasant, was it peasant uh casserole or something like that? Yeah. All of that type of stuff. I now I do like that. If you're gonna put some chicken in it, it and oh, another thing that we used to do that was really, really inexpensive was make boiled chicken and rice. I would love how my mom would put a little vinegar off in there mm, and just give it just give it a nice little flavor. <laughs> Kathy V says she know about goulash. Ratatouille. Ratatouille, you you bougie. You bougie. <laughs> It's cheaper to get a rotisserie chicken and break it down than to buy one at the grocery store. You know that that's that's a shame, but that's where we are right now. That's the position that we're in right now. And, and here's one of the things about our state, our beautiful state of Florida, you know, the untouchable state of Florida. We can go and get certain uncooked food for no grocery tax however let somebody put some heat on it <laughs> and those taxes they be something totally different they something totally different for the food that is cooked like from the deli so it, it's almost like you'll get a seven dollar meal and then you end up paying ten dollars because the tax is so high on the cooked meals. So we have to learn, you know about that goulash <laughs> uh, and soups. Yes, 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 yes. That's a really good one. And one that I like to, and that's what I had for lunch today actually, was I had some soup. But you gotta make the soup yourself because the first time you go to the restaurant and what I try to do is, yeah, he driving Shakir. <laughs> You can tell about all the shaking going on, Shakira. <laughs> you, you can open the door now. <laughs> come, come, come in. Yeah, Illinois, Texas, rough. I bet it is. I bet it is. How are you driving with no hands? <laughs> with, my with my knees. She was talking about me. Oh. <laughs> but but yeah, you you have to you have to get creative right now because. I feel it. I feel the increases in everything. Right now, I remember when we used to buy a bag of, of grapes for a dollar. We used to buy it for a dollar. But right now, every time I go and buy grapes, I'm spending five dollars per bag usually. And yeah, it might last me throughout today and the next day just because I love grapes and my family love grapes. So we might make it two days on that bag of grapes. 
but I can remember the 99 cent grapes. Um, Black Coffee said fried egg and bologna. Yes, baby. When that bologna start to swell up, it start to, to get the swell in the middle and then you have to poke it to make it go back. <laughs> yes, the bologna sandwiches. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly. Be rich. Thank you, be rich. How you doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Grand Acre says, so nobody but me had cornbread, buttermilk after school. I know. <laughs> Heavy carbs. Yeah, you know what? And and a lot of us, we're going to have to get over that if, if stuff gets really, really, really tough, like I feel like it's going to get. We are definitely going to have to get, <laughs> have to get over that. She grossing you out. I'll be rich. <laughs> We're going to have to definitely get over what we don't like. Like I said, right now, I'm eating like a bird. So if things get really tight, guess what? I'm going to tear that chicken down. <laughs> I'm going to tear it down. And look, baloney if I have to as well. You'll do whatever you have to do in order to survive when that's all you have. Yeah, it's going in that direction, Kathy B. <laughs> it's going in that direction. And, and we're going to have to get creative. So another one of the things that I used to like to cook was pancakes. <laughs> I wanted the pancakes. And... I know the syrup that I used to chew. Like, I don't even think back then, like, Miss, I ain't know nothing about no Mrs. Buttersworth. You know what about Mrs. Cane. Butterworth? We had pure cane syrup back then. That's what we had. And my mom made her homemade buttermilk biscuits. And we would have biscuits, sausage, and the pure cane syrup. That was like a whole meal for us. You can make biscuits, even now, you can make biscuits still affordable, even though a bag of flour right now, I don't know when the last time you all bought flour, but one bag of flour is almost $5 for like a, not even the big bag, but they're like $5. So what I do is try to stay in the, I try to stay around the $5 per day just to kind of give some relief, <laughs> you know, if we're going to be out here in these streets, like we, we really have to give some relief in, and we've done really well with not eating out or any of that type of stuff. Like we have to go home now and harvest some lettuce. I know y'all probably saw eco neighbors video yesterday that he put out showing you the lettuce, showing you the celery, how big the celery has gotten. Um, we, that that's going to be some of the ways, even if even if you can't, if you're in a position where you can't grow most things. A lot of us, even when we were living in apartments, we still have that, that guy. You remember from the RV park? He would never be still, you know, that's him. That's him. Anyway. Oh, okay. You know the truth. Okay, never mind. Well, he's still looking like. <laughs> but anyways, um, <laughs> he would never go big stocky country. Hi, J Three GS Farms. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me shout out my buddy. This live was Jay brought to you, <laughs> brought to you by J Three GS Farms <laughs> with the honey. Thank you. J3GS Farms for the honey. Thank you so much. Um, we tried it this morning and thumbs up from us. Thank you so much. Right, biscuits, biscuits, biscuits. <laughs> yes. Get you some biscuits. How you doing, Miss Maria? Uh, good to see you. Yes, that cane patch. Um, Jay Weezy. How you doing, Jay Weezy? That's the one. That's the one. We that's the one we would have. That cane patch syrup. And you couldn't tell us nothing. We were eating good. Hi, Brenda King. How you doing? <laughs> we were getting, we were, we were eating good. <laughs> so 
Um, let's see what else. Oh my God. I used to love grilled cheese so much, but the cheese ain't even real anymore. And it's like it quadrupled the price. They, they can't even call it cheese anymore. If you look at it, they just call it slices because it has to have a certain percentage of cheese for them to be able to call it cheese. So they can't even call it cheese anymore. It's just slices because who knows what it is. It's some stuff mixed together that resembles and has a cheesy flavor, but it just ain't. <laughs> it's just not it. It's just not it. Oh, yeah. Potatoes anyway. I don't know about with no toast now. <laughs> Black coffee. <laughs> Black coffee said <laughs> potatoes anyway with toast. Ooh, we. <laughs> <laughs> oh no i don't know yeah they they just slices now they they look at it look at the big look at the big brand i want you to go straight to the big brand that everybody else like <laughs> y'all know what i'm talking about <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like i said i said we were pulling that <laughs> yes Yes, Kathy B, we did have real food back then. We had real food back then. And we could we knew that if we went to the grocery store to get a chicken, it was a chicken. <laughs> Matter of fact, a lot of us could go to Auntie House or the Uncle House and to Big Mama House <laughs> and get a chicken. And we knew that it was a chicken. It was bark barking. It was walking. It was like, it was really doing its thing. Them chicken feet, <laughs> gross. But the chicken necks, them backs, and whatever else, we ate all of that. The gizzards and the livers. Oh my God. I rediscovered <laughs> gizzards again. Just about. I don't know, six, eight months ago. And immediately I was like, man, I used to love these as a child. But now it's like if you go to one of these restaurants to get you a plate of fries and gizzards, that is $10 for some fries and some gizzards because you let somebody else cook it. Don't do us like that, Jay Weezy. He said, gross. <laughs> doing its thing i mean you know <laughs> a smother them livers with onions rice and biscuits see that that right there that, that's on there busting <laughs> he's so funny he miss maria said hello Eka. <laughs> What's up, maria? he is yes them gizzards and liver see being Grand Acres Soul Sisters, okay? Okay? Fry them too hard, yeah. <laughs> Don't let them be sitting around in the grease and getting all mushy and all. No. Take them out. Put them on a paper towel. Or not. What did you... Let me ask y'all this. What did you use paper when towel. you did not have paper, paper towels? Because... <laughs> Most of the time growing up, we didn't have paper towels. My husband was trying to figure out what was what was wrong with my family because oh we didn't paper have towel, paper towels. Like, why y'all don't have no paper towel? What you wipe your hands with? You go to the sink and you wash your hands. <laughs> or you get you a washcloth. <laughs> you get you a washcloth. <laughs> and there it is, TLC in the garden said the paper bag. That's what we used to do. We used to take the grocery bags because there were paper bags, not plastic back then. And we would sit our chicken on... Bag, the roaches did. Listen, <laughs> the roaches didn't get to <laughs> them until later. That's what we tell ourselves. <laughs> what you think, if you're in the stock room, the roaches be sitting That's what we cooking. tell ourselves. The roaches didn't get to them until later. And um, Felicia, Felicia, hey Felicia, how you doing? Says newspaper. They used to use newspaper. Yeah, the chemicals will get you. Now you talking... <laughs> Listen, all the chemicals they putting in the food now they're made up for it, so it don't matter anyway. Chicken, well, chicken feet and rice. Shakira, gone with that. Gone with that. <laughs> chicken feet and rice. 
real, for real. Gross. <laughs> but hey, you did what you had to do. And you didn't ask, well, Eco Neighbor probably did, but we didn't ask what piece of the chicken is that? Yeah, I know. Yeah, what, we don't want the uh the thigh. The woman, the woman. <laughs> and then when they start asking dark meat or white meat, we like, huh? <laughs> what you talking about? The chicken. <laughs> Some dark meat or white meat. What you talking about? Shoot, a chicken just was a chicken and you ate what was put on your plate. Or going outside and and about like when you be <laughs> what old human. people used to say, going past to death. <laughs> like going out there and past to death, then if you don't want to eat. When you go eating humans, you want the white ones or the black ones? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, stop. No, God, no. <laughs> we didn't use paper towels either, says love notes coming up. Yeah, we ain't use that stuff. <laughs> How you doing, love notes? <laughs> My husband made me promise when we got together not to ever cook, wait, not to ever cook him no chicken feet. <laughs> Listen, this is what I have to do to my husband. Hold on. Midnight Green said my grandmother made bread, cornbread and a cast iron skillet. Yes. Yes. Um, no one complained and you were told you should be glad you have something to eat. Period. Period. But uh, what I had to do with Eco Neighbor, because, you know, Eco Neighbor is just like, I don't want that part of the chicken. I don't like that. I just like the breast. Like That's that. all I like is the breast. You know I can't do voices, no, so okay. I have to do the best I can. I, I, I can't, like, mock and mimic. And I have to use the voices that are within me. That's all I have to do, okay? What it sound like? <laughs> I don't want that piece of the chicken. <laughs> I want the breast. I don't eat that piece of the chicken. <laughs> Put that back. <laughs> oh my God. And so, and so he just liked the breast. That's all that he liked was the chicken breast. And so I was like, <laughs> so I was like, hold on. This man talking about he just liked the breast. Like we got a whole chicken. And all he gonna do is just eat the breast of the chicken and the what's supposed to happen to the rest of the chicken, you know? <laughs> and then when the breast gone, I gotta go back and buy another chicken. Is that what you're trying to tell me? So I was just like, when I started canning, especially when I started canning, I would have chicken left over. Y'all wasn't making the chicken feet right. No, they just grow, Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> if you looked at Sean's feet, you would never want another chicken foot. <laughs> just toe dancing and some <laughs> Just not. No, Man. don't have no cute feet. But anyway, so... <laughs> they used to call me call you trash can and then for the house there he used to put it down <laughs> oh my gosh he said he gonna be transparent they used to call your trash can <laughs> ate everything in the fridge listen <laughs> that that's what had to happen was baby all the gas is high right now it, it's all high i'm gonna see if i can make it so that. That's disrespectful. I promise you, I mm -hmm. promise you all of it is hot. Somebody got me in the pan. You know, in this <laughs> can't keep running away. You can't keep running away because it's about, run to, it's about, to, run. about to be probably five dollars this summer anyway. Fine. So Fine. <laughs> but yeah, we, we had to do whatever we had to do. And um so um this is what I started doing to him because he he always used to be funny about <laughs> about it. When I started canning, I went ahead and got um, the lead quarters. I bought up a bunch of lead quarters, and I know one thing that he likes a lot is like pulled pork. And I was like, hmm. He talking about some chickens, but the but 
with some breasts, but these chicken breasts are way too high, and I'm not fixing to buy them chicken breasts. So I got them leg quarters, and I boiled them leg quarters up good. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I boiled up them leg quarters. I make sure they were seasoned good. Season them real good. And I pretended that I was making pulled pork. And I pulled them. <laughs> pulled them leg quarters. Baby was eating dark meat. It was smothered in some good old barbecue sauce. Put it on a bun. Put him a little lettuce on top. He didn't know no different. And I was like, we have a pulled chicken today, baby. Listen, the whole, all that chicken tastes the same it tastes the same yes pull that chicken off them legs <laughs> just as good as their breasts if they season right that that's it <laughs> that's it um florida yeah because down there in what was that fort myers or somewhere it was like they dropped 25 inches of water in six hours so yeah it was flooded flooded like crazy these chicken breasts now almost as big as humans pass, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, because they loaded up with chemicals. And then they be sticking them. You can see them, like, sending them through the machines or even a human injecting the chicken with whatever they injecting it with, even after they fed it all of that crap that they feed. I remember buying chicken. Hey, Vaughn Scott, how you doing? I remember buying chicken wings at 25 cents per piece. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We remember it. We remember it. The chicken breast was good until about 2010. That's when I noticed that they are dry as the desert. He he liked the one. He liked the ones where they inject it. Like he liked the extra inject. No, where? I, I get you. <laughs> you gotta go to a certain store. Man, they still be doing us in. Uh, they still be doing us in. And now. And love notes. I'm glad you said that. You can get a big 10 pound bag and uh, of legs and thighs for ten dollars. Now we used to get those same legs and thighs for three, four, five dollars, kind of just depending on when it was that you were buying it. The leg quarters, the 10 pound bag of leg quarters, when I was canning. Hey, princess, how you doing? Thank you, Miss Maria. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's growing. It's, I finally feel like it's, it's starting to grow now. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, did you say too long? I know you used to me having short hair, but yeah, you're you going to have to, you know, you, you'll be all right. But um, <laughs> when we went out, when I started canning, I started buying lead quarters at that time. And so I would buy the 10 pound bags and they were $5.90 for each 10, 10 pound bag. And now I think the last time I looked, they were like $12 or $15. The last time I looked, I, I just, it's still, it's still affordable. That's still affordable when you like break it down to the grand scheme of things. Yeah, that's still affordable. So that may be something that you can also put on your list. I was getting those bags of chicken for like five dollars. Uh, if they if they were expecting company, you had to eat dinner prior to them coming. If not, you couldn't eat until we didn't have a choice in the matter. We had to eat whatever was put there in front of us. Whatever mom cooked for the day, and she cooked every day. We had to eat that. Hey, Mike, how you doing? We had to go and and get that food ready so you would be fasting you didn't know you were intermittent fasting <laughs> uh so the sloppy joes i used to hate sloppy joes when i was little huh oh my god it was so gross to me i used to hate it and then the fact that it would be like i guess it was just too much sauce or whatever and like it would come off of the bun oh that was just the worst uh, no the sauce was gross i don't know i don't remember what brand it was but it was just gross 
even the leg quarters are gigantic. You look at, yeah, like them pterodactyls. You write about that, <laughs> JGSR. You absolutely right. Absolutely right. We had the same kind of mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she would hide the car in the back and don't answer the door. <laughs> Little note said, my grandma said, <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Hold on. I'm trying to decode this. <laughs> my grandma said, uh, she winded up hating the preacher. I think that's what you were trying to say. Because if she couldn't drive that hour to church, they would come to eat the whole chicken by himself. <laughs> See? And she would park the car in the backyard. That, that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. That man which oh my gosh, Shakir, it was so bad. And I bet you liked it, didn't you, Shakir? <laughs> Shakira hates everything, y'all. <laughs> she she al always sending me gross emojis when I be talking about food. <laughs> she hates everything. But seriously, um, spaghetti, one of the things that we used to eat all the time when we first got married, your go neighbor loved him some peanut butter and jelly, and he loved him some spaghetti. So we used to eat spaghetti like no, I cook collards for you. Yes, I did when we were dating. When when we were dating, I cooked collards for you. What was the first meal? And you. You always coming with some nonsense. The man which was good if you dressed it up. Oh my God! I don't know what what could have. I still won't eat it today until. The crap hit the fan. Listen, baby, I will, I will, I'll bust it open. <laughs> oh, that sounded wrong. I will throw down on me some sandwich. <laughs> throw down with me skinny as heck. <laughs> if it all goes down, listen, listen, all of us gonna be walking around here looking real crazy. I ate spaghetti every week. Yes, we used to eat it several times a week when we first got married. Several times a week. Sorry, you cook. Eva, you was like, <laughs> <laughs> Listen now. One thing that I could cook. <laughs> you got better. I, listen, I ain't no got better. I was a good cook before we even got married. <laughs> uh, Yvonne Scott said, I stopped eating chicken for a long time. Um, when I see, when I see a child, wait a minute. When I see a child, because I saw how my grandparents processed them. Yeah, yeah. When I was a child, that's what I was supposed to say. When I was a child, because of how they processed them. Yeah, honey, they would grab them by the neck. Like they didn't have to to use all the fancy cones and all of that stuff. They would grab them by the neck. <laughs> And they would do them in. <laughs> no, the stuff it would be fine. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, y'all. We went down the deep hill. Um, that was that was why we could not name the chickens. Yes, and this this is why the only way I got a name in our um, yard is Sean. <laughs> It's Sean, but he will, I'll, I'll get him. I will put him in a pot. I would, but he's going to be so beneficial to us. So I haven't put him in a pot I, and I knew that he was going to be beneficial to us. So he gets a pass. He stays around. Spaghetti will stretch forever. <laughs> so the big pot on the store and be mad because we knew it would be around for two or three days. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it was gonna stay around. No yeah, and we and one thing that that we, I guess, haven't been doing so much is leftovers because we used to always eat leftovers. If we had spaghetti, like I would make sure them noodles didn't get the white mush and stuff on them. You know, hook them up, put them in the the refrigerator, and then 
we would have we would have the leftover spaghetti. The one thing that we didn't do leftovers was like the fried chicken or whatever because Red it just <laughs> it just wasn't the same. It just wasn't <laughs> it just wasn't the same. But spaghetti, our, our meal was spaghetti, corn on the cob, and garlic bread, or either those little dinner rolls. They used to be bust. Yes, they did. So we can still do a lot of that same rice, stuff. Right? Yeah, the chicken and rice was, was fine. You know, the grilled chicken or the oven baked, yeah, roasted. Oh, yeah, yeah. But see, we we, we trying to like, we can't even afford to buy roasts at this point. <laughs> the roasts are ridiculous. Hey, Cheryl Fox, now how you doing, sis? They are ridiculous. Um, who is that? Homeroom Tribe 101. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, you did, did save some money by coming down here. Look, it's loaded though. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> you wait around. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> you wait around. Okay. Well, I guess the leftover. Well, you can wait right here because you don't have to. Because one of them got to move at some point. Sugar and butter will be going up next. I know it will. I know it will. It already has. Like, I used to always keep butter, but now I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to choose between gas and that. I just don't. You know. Canning season about to come up. Better get your staples, rice, potatoes, sugar. I don't really have a canning season, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I can kind of anytime that I'm available to. Sean is only going to be around until one of his sons takes over. Then Gigi have Sean in the oven. Yes. Yep. And then also, you know, we want to make sure that, like, he ain't having too many children with his children kind of thing, you know. So I don't want it. I don't want it. Two headed and two breasted. Double breasted. There you go. I don't want it. I don't want it. Homemade fried chicken is the best leftover, especially cold on a road trip. Um, black coffee. I'm, 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 a, I'm. Me and you is gonna have to get on the phone after this because I, I need some understanding. I need some understanding. I had to cut out dairy, bread, butter um, for a year, but have it stocked up. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I did have a great sale on butter recently. Um, you were only allowed two. Wow. Wow. But this is this is what's going to have to happen. I don't know. Because I think his. OK, I'm going to let you drive. I'll let you do the driving. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to go by Aldi and see if I can find it. But I used to always make sure that I kept butter. But now I'm just like, yeah, I don't know if it's really, really worth the cost. But if I find it on sale, I'll definitely get some. I saw a video on YouTube showing how to make butter. Yeah, we used to do it when we were kids. <laughs> Took the milk and we used to have the mason jars and we would just shake it, shake it, shake it. Right. There, I think. Yeah. And we used to shake it, shake it, shake it up. That's how we that's how we made our butter back then. And it was good and it was, you know. I used to turn my own butter. You did love notes. I just thought it was a lot of work. Even as a child. Thought it was a lot of work. I'm going to get a cow and make my butter. That would be awesome. That would be awesome, J3. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Um, but no, we ain't eating no cold fried chicken. <laughs> I don't want the cold fried chicken, but it's only me now, so I just splurge and get carry go the bougie butter. Okay, love note. See, I love that one. That one was good. Um, one of my attorney friends turned me on to that one because. I didn't know what it was like I had seen it in the stores, but I didn't know what it was. But she turned me on to the bougie butter. So I was like, 
hmm. At the time, it was like $2.87. And I was like, oh, girl, <laughs> this is, this is kind of rich for my blood. But every now and again, I would go and get the bougie butter. Most of the time, I just want the real regular cheapest. Like, don't even give me uh, a box. Just wrap it up in some foil paper or some uh, saran wrap or like the cheap, whatever the cheapest way that I can possibly get it. That's how I want my butter. Because paying five dollars for one thing of butter, child, no, I don't want to do it. It's not my thing. Hey, R. Oki, how you doing? Uh, says Costco has it by the pound. I I bet Costco does. I like I like Costco. I like Costco. That stuff is good but expensive. Yes, the carry gold. Yes, yes, it was. Um, let me say this. Love note said it's a, it's so expensive to raise a cow. So I buy feed from local farmers for my steak, sausage, chops, etc. So let me say this. We were asking my sister about the price because a lot of people say that. A lot of people say that it is expensive to, um, to raise a cow. And my sister disagreed. She had two cows. And so she would get she get like a general bag of feed, like a big, huge bag of feed that was like an all purpose feed that she would feed to the pigs, cows and chickens. And she had enough land, though. She has enough land where the cows can just kind of graze for the most part. And she would give them like one scoop of feed per day. So. That was all that they got was that one scoop of feed each. And so she was like, it, it really has not been expensive doing it that way. But again, having enough land is, I think, the key to being able to keep her uh, cost down on feeding the cows because she doesn't have to go and get all of that stuff. So she just used the all purpose and, you know her little greedy chickens <laughs> be running around and doing their thing or whatever. But yeah, that's what she said, you know, from her experience, the price of the round bill. Hey, is cheaper at $65, but the square bill is 65 is 65 each. You have to cultivate the grass that you grow to, to give them minerals. Yeah, she she only had one big round bell and and then the rest of the time they would just eat out of the field. So she was able to really, really seriously cut her cost down. Um but did, did she say her bell? You remember when you asked um my sister about raising the cow and about how expensive it was and she told you how much the one bell costed her. Yeah. So I guess it depends on kind of on how much space you have, how much land you have, where you're located, et cetera. So yeah, that was that. And um, oh yeah, equipment. Yeah, if you're going to get all of that now. But they have a tractor, so you know, it just, it just kind of depends on, you know, what you're, what you're doing. Hey, Juan Perez, how are you doing? And then, yeah, yeah, love notes, baby cow, you can raise them for four months and then have them processed. Yeah, sure can. <laughs> and they're delicious. Okay. <laughs> they're delicious. <laughs> they're delicious. But anyway, we're getting ready, y'all, to run out of town. But but definitely, guys, be thinking about what you can do, the types of meals that you can make stretch. Be thinking about that type of thing, because with the prices of everything going up. Hey, Branson Gardner, how you doing? 
with the prices of everything going up, we're going to have to really get creative. And so that was the purpose of this live stream today was just to remind people that we knew how to survive back then. We really knew how to survive. And we have to get back to the old stuff that we used to do, because at this point, there's there's really no slowing down in sight as far as I can see. Every time I go into the store, everything that I'm seeing is going up in price. It's not coming down. The sales are not even like I thought they were going to be trying to find things on sale. So if you can find those things on sale and, you know, they're not going to take you out of here, then definitely do everything that you can. But let's get back to the old school old way of doing things and learn how to get back to those meals that we can really stretch and be great for the family. So with that being said, thank you so much uh, for coming in, for hanging out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. You remember the the, the sandwich bill? Oh, the sa listen, be rich, be trying to make me vomit on a daily basis for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why he liked that, but be rich, be trying to make me hurl on a daily basis with some of that stuff he be sending me. Hey there. Hey, you know, you knew how you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. But um, yeah, he, he do. He do me like that because <laughs> he know I'm going to be grossed out. So I, I just I, I don't know why be rich is like this. But <laughs> thank you. all I appreciate you all coming in. I appreciate y'all coming in. Oh, yes. Ramen, make it bougie. Make it bougie. Put the vegetables in there. <laughs> Let me get off this phone because I got to go because we, we're about to lose internet. So thank y'all for coming in. I appreciate y'all. Share the video out if you would like to. And I'll talk to y'all later. Take care, guys.